Uh, what is the maximum weight of a student allowed for the R22? This is coming from Craig. That's a great question. You have to, uh, we, we had it out earlier. Depends on how, how heavy the instructor is, okay? So like as of today, we did the math when this gentleman showed up, I think he was 190 and Hauser said he was right about 195. And so we got on there and figured out how much fuel that they could take, which they were able to have enough fuel for an hour and still have reserve. So it depends on who you're flying with. I'm limited. I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight, but I'm pretty limited on what I can do in the R22. Um, at, the, at this point, I could only fly with somebody who is on the lighter side. So it all depends on who you're flying with and how much fuel you want to take because weight and balance is something that we have to figure every time we go fly for every single flight and how far you go and how much fuel do you need. So weight and balance is a big part of it and figuring these for every time. So I, I can't give you a one answer, blanket answer for, that's what he was asking, right? right. Seat weight, right? So for example, the two today, both being the 190-ish range, they could go about half or a little over half on the main on fuel without being overweight, but that's about it. If it would have any more than that, they'd have been overweight. So really the R22, that's one thing about it. It's really kind of built for smaller individuals and usually instructors that you see teaching in an R22, they're usually lighter people, you know, male or female, it's usually it just depends. It depends on, on each on each flight. You know, it's there's a lot of people that, you know, their their motivation to lose weight becomes they want to, motivation to learn how to fly a helicopter is, god damn it, <laughs> their motivation to lose weight is because they want to learn to fly and they're a little bit heavy. And we know many people that have done that, right? They they were at a certain weight and they knew they wanted to fly and they knew they were heavy, a little heavy for certain helicopters, so they went on a specific diet and went after their goal. And we know quite a few people that have dropped a lot of weight so that they could, you know, pursue their dream. And that's one thing I, I hated about helicopter rides. I did them, I would fly them in the Enstrom that I owned. And again, it's two people, right? So it really sucks when two people come walking over and you get good at it to where you know just by looking about whether somebody's going to be heavy, too heavy or not. And sometimes you have to turn people down and that really sucks, especially when it's like a couple and you see them walking over and then you go, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's tough, right? Because it's a regulation, right? We're bound by law and a, and a limit on the aircraft. So a person can only weigh so much. And when you have to tell somebody that they can't fly due to weight, that really sucks. That's a hard thing to do. And I always hated telling people that, right? It's just, even if you're trying to do it in a nice way, you still feel like you're being an ass because you tell them they can't go. They don't really, the average public doesn't understand that, hey, we're restricted by this weight. And if we go over, we're in trouble or we could damage the aircraft. We could even cause an accident. So we're bound by what we have to do. So that's an unfortunate thing about helicopters. And our clone is located at askhogs.com. You can go below and click on the link to go check it out. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can ask training related questions, flight and ground. 14 years of my contents loaded in this thing. Blogs, podcasts, videos, paid content, free content. There's over 6 million words piped into my clone. It's amazing. Go down below askhogs.com. The clone is free to everyone. And the clone is also inside of our hog site on every video, every page. So you can be in viewing videos and you can always ask the clone a question while you're at it. So you can get an immediate answer. First right here is free, free PDF, private pilot 101 helicopter training blueprint. That's why we created this. And let me cover what's in the first chapter. Since you ask and you're at the beginning, that's why we created this. The first chapter are questions that we've, we took like the top 10 questions that we get all the time. Like, is learning how to fly a helicopter difficult? How long will it take to become a private pilot? How much will it cost to become a private pilot? What is the best approach to selecting a flight school? What are the key differences between helicopters and fixed wing aircraft? How many tests will I have to take? How many hours for solo on the license? Kenny's recommended training supplies. So this is absolutely 100% free. You can go down below 
There's a link down below, or you can type in your browser, privateblueprint.com, and you can download immediately after you sign up. You'll sign up, send, enter your name and email, and the next page will show you download your book here. That's where you should start, because again, it's free. Or subscribe to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel, and you'll get a notification when the new video comes out for either the live or the premiere, whichever way we do it. And then we want to also bring up we are updating and starting to update our R22 specific course behind us. Course behind us. Course using the helicopter behind us. Lindsay's in charge of getting in there and updating some images in the R22 site uh, section of hogs. We have R22 specific section and an R44 specific section that come with any of our memberships. So you don't have to buy that specifically. We use private pilot, for example, monthly membership. It has both the R22 and R44 sections in there. And since we have an R22 available for, to us and an R44 available to us, we thought, why not get the content updated in those courses with some fresh videos, fresh images. And also want to mention hogspaysme.com. This is passive income. You want to earn some money, particularly if you're a flight instructor. Anybody can use the Hogs affiliate link. You go to hogspayme.com. That link is down below. You'll sign up for it. It'll give you access to a dashboard inside that you'll see your link and a link to share with others. So when they sign up, you receive 50% off our online memberships, private pilot, commercial pilot, instrument pilot, certified flight instructor and or private or professional pilot. That's 2,800 bucks. If you share your link with one of your students and they buy pro pilot, it's a lifetime membership for all courses. You will get $1,400 shipped to your PayPal account after the 30 days. So we have a few spots left for the spring of 2025. So you got to get in now if you want one of these, because as course, as we're moving into spring, people are talking, they're calling. So we've got like three spots left for the spring. If you want to get in, we're going to put a link down below this video. We've got a short questionnaire to see if you qualify for the final approach course. Go through that at the link below, answer the question and we'll get back to you if you look like you're a good fit or we're a good fit to get you finished up. We got three spots basically for the spring so we can make you number 20, number 21 and number 22 on the Hogs Wall of Fame. When you feel the pressure to fly, but know the right decision is to stay on the ground, hit the Hogs no-go and live to fly another day. HelicopterGround.com